Hey guys, welcome to another video, and in this one we're going to be talking about this Watch Dogs 2 trailer that just released that showcases the multiplayer a little bit in Watch Dogs 2. So basically guys, it's showing us some stuff about the multiplayer, how it works, how it's seamless and stuff like that. So without further ado, we're going to get into taking a look at some of the things mentioned in this trailer that were lo worth looking at. So at this point, what I've noticed is that the multiplayer is quite vast in what you can do. So you can do races, you can run around, you can shoot things, you can park all together and stuff like that. And there's really no limit to what you can actually do. The trailer may mention that you can run into players at any point online and tackle a variety of missions together or just explore together as well as tackle apparently no end to missions so that's going to be interesting to see and hopefully there's a lot of variety in there and it also confirmed that there is an outback and it's not all just in the city so it means there is like a countryside area where you can go and visit the trailer also shows us some nice looking images and shots and stuff like that that we can see so by imagery uh, well by images i mean imagery so by that I mean we can see some really nice textures and it looks really cool, so I'm not going to complain about that. Of course, online privacy invasions seem to be back, so people will try to hack you and shit like that. And you can use stuff like drones to find them and handle them and it will be a lot easier because you're not on your feet. And it won't feel as tedious as it does in first Watch Dogs game. And what's the Ubisoft game without civilian harm punishment things? So basically, if you harm too many civilians, you will get a bounty and you'll be hunted by other players, which is very interesting, but at the same time, come on Ubisoft, I want to kill a million civilians if I want to. I want to wipe out the population. I mean, I can be a genocidal twat if I want to, right? But on a serious note, it does look quite interesting. It's a similar system to Assassin's Creed Rogue and how that worked with the bounty system, just that it's online players and not in-game AI, which are equally as challenging to take down. Can we take a moment to appreciate how nice some of these shots actually look, like the lighting and everything, it just looks really nice, really reflective, and the graphics may not be the most impressive of any game ever, but it certainly looks better than the first Watch Dogs game, so hopefully this game doesn't get downgraded. But all in all, the multiplayer definitely looks like a whole heap of fun, basically what Assassin's Creed Unity tried to do by the looks of things, just a bit in Watch Dogs, and maybe this will work a little bit better, but let me know what you guys think, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, be sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, share, comment, tell me what you think, and I'll see you on the next one with another video. So yes. Uh...